is Fox 5 Local News at 10. U.S. Immigration and Customs say they plan to detain two illegal immigrants charged with the kidnapping and rape of a 12-year-old girl. Enrique Carbajal and Victor Tomei are each being held at Montgomery County Jail on a half million dollars bond. The feds say both men are in the U.S. illegally. Critics say the crimes they are accused of committing are preventable. There's virtually no communication. This is what happened here was a, was a, was a tragedy that could have been avoided, but it's what happens when you allow illegal immigration to go on, to encourage it, promote it. An agency spokesperson tells us if Carbajal and Tomei are convicted and serve their sentences, they will be turned over to ICE for possible deportation. But some argue deporting illegal immigrants who commit crimes is not the best solution. Are illegal immigrants causing a spike in crime in our region? Some say yes, others say no. And that is the topic that we are tackling in tonight's edition of Fox 5 Unfiltered. Joining us tonight, Jesse Jane Duff, a senior fellow with the London Center for Policy Research and an expert on national security issues, and Virginia State Delegate Mark Levine, who represents the 45th District, which includes Alexandria and Arlington. Thank you both for coming in. We do appreciate it. Pleasure. Jane, this is a hot button issue. I want to start with you. Um, you know, there are people who say, listen, it is not fair every time an illegal immigrant commits a crime to label the entire group of immigrants as criminals or potential criminals and we certainly shouldn't be talking about deporting all of them. What do you say to that? Well, first of all, I don't think everybody's calling everyone a criminal. Mm -hmm. And let's be clear about that. You know, when we start putting words in people's mouths, it's unfair to the people that are trying to resolve the problem. But we do have to recognize we do have a serious illegal immigration problem in this country. Federal sentencing right now for illegal immigrants is over 30% in the federal prisons. Over 30%. And the deportation is not occurring by the federal government. So we're talking about over $18 billion being spent in federal prisons on illegal immigrants who are incarcerated and guess what the states have to pick up the bulk of that tab so this impacts everybody's lives do you think though that because of what we're seeing because of the illegal immigration we're seeing a spike in crime I think it's because the, the, we're not enforcing the laws that we have on the books. If you would enforce the laws that we currently have, that you cannot hire illegals without proper documentation, you would resolve a lot of your problems. So we obviously are allowing a lot of people in sanctuary cities. We're allowing a lot of people to lay below the radar, which is causing an impact to our, to our cities as a whole. Mark, how do you argue well, against that? It's not causing an impact to crime. Let's just be very clear okay. about this. Uh, first of all, my condolences to the victim. Anyone who committed an awful crime raping a 12-year-old girl needs to go to jail sure. for a long time. But we need to recognize that native-born citizens commit these crimes at far greater rates than immigrants, whether undocumented or not. You can look at men between 18 and 39, and you'll find that for every 1,000 men between 18 and 39 in America, 35 have committed crimes that are in prison, seven immigrants. So it's five times the rate. Even male high school dropouts, 10% of male high school dropouts in America who are born here are in jail. It's about 1% of the immigrants. So it's the native borns that commit crimes at a far greater rate than the undocumented. So at the end of the day, People are bad people, and we need to put bad people in jail. But let's not use the horrible acts of these two young men and suddenly tar all immigrants to America. Uh -huh. Anytime you take one person and say they did a bad thing, therefore every one of that ilk is a bad person. That's the very definition of prejudice. Uh, Jesse, how do you respond to that? Because I don't think everybody's saying that. Nobody has said that all people are bad. So that's the first thing. Don't own it if it doesn't apply to you. So if the crime, well, let me crime is irrelevant. Finish. Let me finish. If it doesn't apply to you, then you don't own it. Illegal immigrants who have committed crimes have caused taxpayers. Oh, they, they are in federal, federal situations over 30% of the crimes. You do statistics, and I would challenge all the viewers out there. 30% of the crimes. Let me finish. Just not a violent Google, crime. That's just not true Google, at all. Just Google illegal immigration and crime stats, and you will see the crime stats. It may you're not be violent or not violent. Well, you're because comparing. They haven't. You are forgetting one key word. It's illegal. Don't compare illegal to people who are natural born citizens and say, well, they do it more, so it's okay. Well, let me you ask can't you, are you saying that? that because people are here illegally? Yes, we know it's illegal, but that doesn't predispose them to committing a higher rate exactly. of crime. Of course Sexual not, and I never said that. Okay. I never said that. Okay. This is what he's implying that people are saying, and well, I, I think haven't some heard one think person that. say that. I think some people think well, that. I, and I, I just want people to be... know we agree That's on the like statistics. That's like saying all blondes are stupid. Well, well, I don't I, own that. I think well. we can agree on the statistics. <laughs> Immigrants commit crimes at a lesser rate than native-born Americans. But there Full are... Full stop. Okay, now, if you disagree that... 
Yes, every okay, one so of that's every the issue. every you know is different the, type of people commit some crime. Is the fact that some of these people, well, if we're talking about illegal immigrants, then that the, the the people who are here illegally, in your view, does that factor into this? That well, they're here illegally to begin with, so perhaps they shouldn't even be here. When you're talking about violent crime, regardless of whether you're here legally or illegally, mm -hmm. I think the American people have zero tolerance for it. Mm -hmm. But when we find out somebody was here illegally and was not deported by ICE, who is been reported multiple times or has committed multiple offenses and has been overlooked and overlooked and overlooked. The states right now have to bury, uh, bear the burden of much of that federal uh, sentencing and many of the sentencing that they have to pay is over $17 billion. The federal government isn't picking up this tab. So now we as taxpayers, when you're talking $17 billion out of my taxes, yes, we want accountability and we want a safe community. Mark, jump in here. Let, Here's me, the thing. let me ask you, because yeah. she, she's talking now about the laws and how we, we handle illegal immigrants in terms of the money and, and taxpayer money. Does she have a point here? Well, look, criminals need to be locked up. Okay. And frankly, deporting violent criminals where they're free across the border and can come back in and commit more violent crimes is exactly the wrong answer. We need to lock up violent criminals of whether they be immigrants or native-born Americans. There is a cost to locking up people. Mm -hmm. That's true again, whether they're native-born or whether or not they're, they're undocumented immigrants. It's conflating these two that are really very different issues. Okay. Criminals should go to jail, and the question of whether or not we should allow, I think we should allow far more legal immigrants. The vast majority of Americans. should allow more illegal immigrants? More legal, legal, legal. Okay, okay, immigrants. I mean, look, when my great-grandparents came here, mm -hmm. uh, you just had to not be a violent criminal, and you could come in, there were no restrictions. 97% of Americans are descended from people who came from outside where we live now. I've always said the only people who have a right to complain about immigrants are Native Americans. Mm -hmm. They have a right to complain. The the rest of us, whether we came on as immigrants I or we came as I'm our ancestors on slave ships. These are Native Americans, and don't say that we're not Native American because of the fact of the matter is I was born in this country, I pay my taxes, and I think yes, everybody but your in this country... your ancestors were not my, born in this country. My ancestors were born in this country. My grandmother learned English when she was 35, but okay. she was born in this country. And your great, great, yeah, great, great grandparents. So, so, look, we are so you are, so you're trying immigrants. to say I'm less of a person? No, no I'm trying to no, say no, we're here all legally. a country of immigrants. No, you are trying to suggest that illegal versus legal doesn't matter. It's illegal. all the same. It's it the is law. not all we the same. We can change the law. No, you, you have defined them as exactly. illegal by setting a law that I think is then a really bad enforce, law. Because okay, immigrants well, that's the make issue. America great. That's the issue. And we they always have. We differ on the laws then. It's not that's about whether we... Nobody has suggested that everybody's a criminal. That's the first thing. So I'm going to clarify that. What we will clarify is you and I disagree on illegal versus legal. You think it's all the same. I disagree. I think we should allow more legal immigrants. You, you, and you, you don't. You've said a couple of times nobody is saying they're all criminals. But we kind of go back to Donald Trump, and I know you're not a spokesperson for Donald Trump, one of the reasons all of this is being talked about so forcefully right now are some of the early statements he made during his campaign where he did seem to characterize all illegal imminent, uh, immigrants uh, as criminals. He said he Mexicans were rapists, and some of them yeah. he assumes were good right. people. Right. And right after that, Kate Steigl was murdered right on the harbor in San Francisco, which more or less said, if you do stats, and I recommend everybody go look up the stats on violent crime, some of the highest rates of violent crime with illegal immigrants have been in the state of Texas, have been in the state of California, my home state, and they have but, often but not gotten... Are, but more native-born Americans. Because of the, the situation where the Because there's more of us. Crimes. There's more of us, no, 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 33% no, no. of the population. As a percentage, every there's single th study for 25 years has shown. percent of the population, and so a, per capita, no, no, that's no brainer. A greater percent of people born here there's, commit violent crimes of course, than immigrants. Because we're 97% of the population. Two, we've got two no, you, you're not understanding here. the We've got the laws as it, as it pertains to people who are illegal immigrants, and then we're talking about deportation and crime. It seems like we're, 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 we've got it's two very I want to be very topic. clear about the statistics here. If you are born in the United States, you are more likely to commit a violent crime than if you're an immigrant. Of course, because there's 97 because there's 97 percent of us versus so, 3.5 percent. So, but following the following, of course, no, it's a illegal. smaller percentage of course, them. 3.5 percent. Of course. Following you justify illegal immigration because native-born people commit more crime. That is a false argument. What laws are laws. Is Enforce don't the call laws. Illegal immigrants, criminals. I didn't. Well, you have got to stay on Do track Donald here. Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Uh, but who's speaking here for Donald Trump? Well, My goodness. Not. I'm going to tell you what, this is clearly a hot button issue. We know <laughs> it is an issue that's been on the campaign trail. Donald Trump brought up the issue of illegal immigration. Certainly this debate is not going to end anytime soon. Nope. Jesse Jane Duff, thank Delegate you. Mark Levine, thank you both so thank much you for, for having coming me. in tonight. Every time we do this, I wish we'd blown out the rest <laughs> of the show so we could continue. Thank you both very much. We'll, we'll be right back. 
Thank you guys for coming in. Oh. <laughs>